Well, hello, good people and Eagle fans. Mark Holmes here, as always. I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm, I'm going to be on. I'm going to be 100% real. I am enjoying myself. Because watching the whole Eagles implosion right now, they are literally a circular firing squad. They're pointing at everybody. They want their pound, 15 pounds of flesh. Not just a pound of flesh. They want 15 pounds of flesh. And I could not be happier. It is great to see this happen. It, it couldn't happen to a nicer team. Um I want to I, I want to take you on a stroll. Yes, yeah, I, I'm I, I am that dude right now. I am that dude. Let, let's listen to Philly 500 when he was doing his predictions here. Mind you, the first three games he said they were going to be three and zero. Me, I think the Eagles win that game. They go to three and zero. Then the Eagles at the Buccaneers. We owe the Buccaneers one. Okay, the reason why the Eagles went down to Tampa and lost. Uh, they lost because the whole the whole thing had collapsed. They were going to lose no matter what. It didn't matter who they played or where they played. Um, this is going to be a different team. We're going to get revenge for this game, and I and I hope Devin White goes off. So I got the Eagles winning, and I got the Eagles starting four zero. Now here's what I don't like, and a lot of people don't like the the. The Eagles are going to get revenge. So. I can't wait to go on the Dan Sleo show tomorrow, okay? They are literally killing Nick Seri. This is the funniest thing for me. There's a couple things funny. We'll get to the Slay uh, and Micah thing, and maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. Maybe we need to thank Micah for what he did um, versus being mad that he had the podcast. Um, the funniest thing is how people are, are defending Kellen Moore. They're saying this isn't Kellen Moore's offense. This isn't Kellen Moore's offense. You know, uh, this is Nick Sariani. Nick Sariani, if Philly 500 is literally saying, well, Nick Sariani's calling the plays the first quarter, and then Kellen Moore's calling them. See, this is where Mike McCarthy was so smart, okay? Mike McCarthy made it clear that Kellen Moore was the installer, and as Mike McCarthy said, the installer calls the plays. He made sure his hands were clear. So when the offense failed, don't look at me. He's your guy. He's your guy that you had here before me. Let me call the plays. Now, the thing that's funny is, without Kellen Moore, Dak Prescott looked really good last year. Runner-up MVP. With Kellen Moore, with the Chargers, we continue to see Justin Herbert kind of going downhill. The funny thing is the Eagles don't understand if you want Kellen Moore's offense, there's a piece that you have to bring with it, and that's Dak Prescott. People think that it was Kellen Moore that made Dak Prescott play good. Bro, it wasn't. It was Dak Prescott making Kellen Moore look good. See, right now, I want you to understand something. See, the Cowboys, we have one of the worst rushing attacks in football. We have two rookies starting, okay, and Tyler Guyton right now leads the NFL in penalties on the offensive line with seven, and he's given up four sacks. For a lot of quarterbacks, and, and probably a lot of quarterbacks, there would be even more sacks taken. The Cowboys have, in essence, one really great weapon. Fergalicious, you know, he, he is there, but he's been injured and he missed a game. But you haven't seen the Cowboys drop off without having a credible running game, without having multiple weapons, without necessarily having a lot of time to throw. Eagles will point and say, well, we had Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown's been missing, but you got a great running back. You've got the leading running back, I believe, going to that game in Saquon. And what y'all are trying to do is you're trying to protect Kellen Moore and say it's not Kellen Moore's fault. And it's so funny because I hear people say, fire Nick Sirianni. Not that I'm saying that that's a bad idea. 
and install Kellen Moore as the head coach. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Eagle fans. You are looking at Kellen Moore's offense. When you go through and you say, why aren't we using Zeke Elliott? Uh, Excuse me, Saquon Barkley. Because we have games where we were able to run the football and we would never give it to Zeke. We would have games where we were running the ball effectively and then Kellen Moore would come through with a gadget play, a trick play that only tricked us and gave us bad field position. When we literally, literally had Ben DiNucci have to play, who was basically doing, you know, scout team stuff, instead of saying, Ben, here's the eight plays that you're always running on scout team. We're going to go ahead and make sure we do those things and give them an opportunity. We went against the commander's team, which was one of the best pass rushers at the time, rushing teams, and ended up doing double and triple reverses that gave them enough time to get in the backfield. And you look like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is Kellen Moore's offense, and we tried to tell you. Now, I was pissed when I saw Micah Parsons and Slay yucking it up yesterday. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Now, we got got to win. You know, we got to win, so there was no yucking up on the Cowboys. All the yucking up was uh, putting C.J. Gardner-Johnson under the bus. And wasn't it C.J. Gardner-Johnson who... Last week had the beef with that with with, with Micah. What, what wasn't that who he was basically saying? Well, who is this guy? What am I wrong on that? Am I wrong on that? That he pissed that guy off. I think it was CJ. I it, it just hit me again. I think it was CJ Gardner Johnson that he went through his whole man cave and he's pointing out all his jerseys and everything else, right? And basically telling Micah, yeah, I've been around, you know, I've been around. I got got the ring and the hardware and this, that, and the other, and Tom Brady's jersey. You know, you you can have your jersey here too. And so maybe Micah pulled a master class by getting Big Play Splay on there, who is one of the defensive captains. And you literally, after they get destroyed, and one of his players, his teammates, writes a check that he can't cash saying we're going to put belts to asses and looks like asses, like he should have had a belt to his ass. And you literally have him laughing the day after a loss. And his teammate looks like, so now you got dissension between the players because I would be like, bro, tomorrow in practice, Bro, what? Screw you! What? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Why? Why are you up there with Micah Parsons, man? Are you crazy? Fraternizing with the enemy? That's what I would look at. And we see Eagle Nation is like, what the hell's going on? They, they, big play slay. He's now big play you slay. They want him out of there now. They they, they want to to to. I mean, that, woo. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy. And here's what I, the other part of this equation I want y'all to think about here for a second, because all the talking heads kept putting out there that the Eagles are you know great team, great roster. You know Jalen Hurts is one of the best quarterbacks in football, and all that, right? But here's what you have to understand: out of the last eleven games. They're three and eleven. I'm sorry, three and eight. Three and eight. Bro. Bro. You haven't been a good team in a long time. <laughs> Alrighty, good people. I, I I'm you know I'm enjoying you you know you I, I don't know what next week holds. Sunday night we play the Steelers. And we'll be without Micah and D-Law. But I'm going to enjoy this week. Okay? Because I, I might not be around next week. I might not. Honestly. Honestly. Um, John Amos from Good Times. From uh, Die Hard. Um, from Coming to America. 
He passed away yesterday. Oh, excuse me, today. Pete Rose yesterday. Um, the cop from Beverly Hills Cop passed away yesterday. Um, the guy from uh, Pickers, he died today. It's like, what the hell's going on? So, yeah, that's why I'm going to enjoy this week against the Eagles. Damn the torpedoes. Full steam ahead at laughing at you. All right, good people. Peace out. <laughs>